All right, what's up guys? So today I'm going to be going over how to configure a layer 3D switch as a DHCP server. So as you can see in our diagram, we have two different hosts and two different VLANs. And the switch has two SVIs corresponding with the VLANs that you see. So if we do show IP interface brief, you can see that the switch has 10.0.0.254 and 20. 0.0.254 which will be the gateways for the devices so first thing we want to do is we want to make it so that those addresses don't get assigned to host so we can do that by doing IPDHCP excluded addresses and then we type in the address and then do the same thing for the other one. All right, so now that we did that, we want to make a DHCP pool for VLAN 10. So IP DHCP, then we'll say the name, doesn't, doesn't matter what the name is, but we'll say VLAN 10. So now we want to um, configure the settings for, the, for what it will give to the clients. So first off, we want to identify the network so we'll, for VLAN 10, it's 10.0.0.0 with a mask of 24. All right, so now that we did that, we want to set the DNS server. And we'll say that's all fours. And then the default router, which is the default gateway, will be us, the SVI. And then we'll say domain name. All right, so now that we did that for VLAN 10, let's go to PC1 and see if it can get an IP address. You can see that it's going through Dora and it should have an IP address now. And you can see that it got the IP address of 10.0.0.1 with a gateway of 254. And we can verify that on the switch also. Do show IP DHCP bindings or binding. You can see that the IP address 10.0.0.1 was given to host one and shows expiration date. And you can set the lease time um, in the settings. It just depends on what you want to do. So let's do the same thing with VLAN 20. So we'll do, make a new pool for VLAN 20. No space network you can also use the cider notation for this so we'll say default router is the SVI DNS domain name and you can see here that there's different options you can set options and um, should be least time yeah so you can there's several things you can change but we'll just do this for now so if we go to pc2 should be able to get an ip address and it can it should be able to ping the default gateway which is the svi which it can and once again we can verify that on the switch And there we go. So that's the basic configuration of uh, using a Cisco device as a DHCP server. If you have any questions, let me know.